Thank you very much for joining us here today uh, for this presentation. Uh, my name is Bahar. I am the professor and academic coordinator of the Art and Design Foundation program at the School of Design. Um, today, I would like to talk uh, about the program. So an overview of the program, our program strengths, uh, the program learning outcomes, our courses that we are offering, the pathways uh, from the Art and Design Foundation program, and also showing you some portfolio samples. Uh, our program is a one-year certificate program which provides students with a broad base of expert knowledge and technical skills. It's designed for students who want to explore a variety of art and design disciplines and practices. And we are also supporting our students to develop their portfolio or just enjoy learning creative skills in a studio-based environment. So uh, we are teaching our students and students different types of skills, digital skills, as well as hands-on and analog skills. Uh, skills. So these are the strengths of our program. Uh, we prepare our students uh, for successful application uh, to three-year diplomas or degree programs here uh, at George Brown College or other institutions. Uh, we help our students to develop a strong portfolio. Uh, we are also having some projects where we are working with the industry and uh, real clients. Uh, we also have one uh, elective co course uh, when we are uh, helping our students to learn more about game art in this course and to produce designs that they can add to their portfolio if they want to apply to the game art pro program. Also, we are helping our students to become more focused on their careers. Uh, the opportunities that are there, the possibilities, and also uh, become more confident in order to succeed in a post-secondary education. This is only a one-year commitment. And then we are uh, <clears throat> at our very beautiful campus. We are close to the museums, art galleries, and everything downtown Toronto has to offer. Uh, and uh, we are offering both hands-on and digital experiences, uh, use of digital software and platforms such as Adobe Suite, Behance, and use of iPads. Uh, we network with practitioners from industry, and most of all, uh, our faculty are knowledgeable, caring, and dedicated faculty uh, who are there to support our students. You are mentoring our students in addition to teaching. These are the program learning outcomes. Program learning outcomes are very, very important because they show what our students uh, learn in the program. So what are the skills? What are the knowledge? What are the attitude or the soft skills that our students acquire upon the completion of the program? Uh, so these are some of the program learning outcomes. Um, we are teaching our students how to create a two and three dimensional art and design work using art elements, principles of design, and a wide range of materials, processes, and techniques. Uh, we support our students to learn how to solve design problems and develop creative form using a research-based design. So research is becoming more and more important um, in the field of art and design. Uh, so we support our students to learn strategic research, visual research, how to use our library, many e-resources, uh, how to use copyright uh, guidelines and policies. Um, also, we teach our students to develop and present a portfolio that showcases personal artistic style using a range of media appropriate for a variety of venues. So basically, portfolio is very, very important, is the heart of our program. 
uh, it helps our students to produce works that they really want to add uh, to their uh, portfolio in order to apply to other programs or they want to continue to their job place also is very important. So basically we teach uh, how to customize and personalize their portfolios um, using a kind of uh, range of different tools and materials and showcase personal artistic style. So how our students can explore and learn more about themselves, their strengths, and how they can build upon their strengths in order to uh, kind of present themselves to the industry. Identify the elements of art, principles of design, tools, methods, and techniques that artists and designers use to create meaning within a global context. We are living in a global world. You know, design is now global as well as local. So it's very, very important for our students to learn how to create like to create artistic forms and to express themselves um, while creating content and meaning uh, to tell stories using the different tools and the language of art and design that they are learning in our program. Uh, how to communicate in an art and design environment becomes very, very important using appropriate language, professional language strategies and techniques in order to develop and maintain interpersonal relationships and participate in a peer evaluation process. So uh, when our students, um, like after graduation, they move to the marketplace working within the design industry, uh, everyone is uh, working in teams, so it's very important for our students to know how to uh, network, how to create interpersonal relationships, how to communicate in a professional manner, how to be able to give feedback and to get feedback then to develop a unique personal visual identity using analog and digital materials, tools and techniques and environment. And, um, you know, um, the very important part that right now, mostly in the online environment is becoming um, very critical is to be able to manage personal digital presence or brand by participating in professional communities of practice online as well as you know in the real world so it's very important for us to know how to become present how to protect our works how to be able to give credit to other people so these are all very very important and basically how to become a professional artist or designer uh, within the global context so these are the courses that we are offering in our program. Uh, in the first semester, we offer six courses uh, that are mandatory courses, foundation drawing one, observational drawing and composition, foundation design one, form and space, uh, college English, introduction to photography, art culture, and introduction to digital media. So the first semester courses are mostly fundamental courses, introductory courses, where our students are learning uh, about uh, the basics and the foundation of um, arts as well as the digital media and history of art. So for example, in art culture, our projects are like fun projects. So we learn about the history of art through creating uh, book covers, uh, design costumes, do analysis, discussing. So basically um, we are um, offering lectures and concepts and theories, but at the same time, um, our courses are heavily based on the studio work. Uh, helping our students to go through the process and uh, to the creative process and uh, create uh, projects that are aligned with the all learning outcomes for each course.
Then when we are moving to the second semester, again, our students need to complete six courses. Uh, but here we have some more options. So our students need to complete uh, the mandatory courses that are design process, foundation design two, uh, color theory and practice, and art and design portfolio showcase as the main courses of the second semester. And then uh, students have the choice to choose from a pool of elective courses, uh, such as foundation drawing to life drawing, painting and mixed media studio, uh, 3D materials and techniques, advanced digital media, multimedia storytelling, photography, people, concepts and stories, and 2D digital art one. So by then, if even our students are just exploring in the first semester, we start having this discussion about the future with our students when we are moving to the second semester. So the students who feel that they really love fine arts, they may want to take uh, foundation drawing to life drawing or painting and mixed media studio uh, or the students who are more like uh, leaning toward like digital courses uh, they may want to do advanced digital media or multimedia storytelling for example in the multimedia storytelling uh, there is a bit of uh, video making um, like how to put voice on a video and of course, uh, photography sometimes is very popular uh, with our students. And if you want to move to animation and the game arts, like all about game, still again, you may want to do foundation drawing to life drawing, painting and mixed media and 2D digital art one, which is a um, dual credit course uh, with the game art program. So our students in total, uh, need to complete 12 courses in order to graduate from the art and design foundation program. Uh, these are different pathways here at the School of Design because we have a variety of uh, applicants and students in our program. We have students who are like just continuing uh, their studies right from high school. They are very young people uh, in terms of life experience, I have to say, and maybe like background. Uh, and they may have uh, completed some art courses or not. So it's they are equal because the courses, when we are offering the courses, we start from scratch. So if you are you have no background in art, you are going to benefit from all the courses. And if you are a kind of sometimes we have students with already credentials in uh, from the like in different. Um, programs. We have international students who already have bachelor's, master's degree in architecture, for example, or graphic design. We have students who have already credentials from other disciplines, like the sciences, human or social sciences, uh, coming to our program, learning about art and design. So our courses are somehow in a way to uh, cover all the different skills uh, that our students are bringing you know to our and also in terms of life experience you know uh we have all these mature students so it's kind of um a variety of people in our our courses and that's why we have different pathways and when i mentor my students helping them uh, about the possibilities i always tell them that you really need to look at yourself and your strengths and how you see yourself in the future you know what is the career pathways that's why some of our students just would like to continue in a diploma program that are very like both critical thinking and practical here at the school of design like graphic design game art and interaction design they are very popular among our students in the art and design foundation program or they may want to continue to honor bachelors of uh, digital experience design or brand design. So these are new uh, bachelors 
degrees, they are eight semesters. So for the students who are moving toward like more academia and they want to maybe continue to master's degree later on, they may want to do a four years uh, bachelor's instead of a three years diploma. And there are also other options for those mature students who are um, joining us with a bachelor's, master's, international, as well as domestic students. So some of our students, after our like short program here in Art and Design Foundation, uh, they move to programs like there are postgraduate programs here, like interdisciplinary design strategy at the Institute Without Boundaries or Concept Art for Entertainment or the Design Management Program. So the students who want to kind of, they really, they, they are interested, for example, in graphic design, but they already have graphic design skills or they have acquired enough digital skills and they already have a bachelor's degree or credentials or diplomas. So they may want to do a just one year postgraduate program here at George Brown College. So I'm always talking about all of these opportunities in the second semester, because in the second semester, we have a course called Art and Design Portfolio Showcase, when we are exploring ourselves, our strengths, and uh, future pathways and opportunities. So this is the time that we really uh, have, uh, you know, the opportunity to have those discussions about future planning and, um, you know, uh, career uh, prospects here in the field of art and design. So these are our people here at George Brown College. Uh, Luigi Ferrara is our Dean at the Center of Arts Design and Information Technology. Uh, because the School of Design is part of the whole Center of Art, Design, and Information Technology. So, of course, I had students who wanted to move to the fashion design. They wanted to move to more like media management, that they are all part of the Center of Art and Design and Information Technology. Then um, it's Anarita Moray. This is the chair at the School of Design who's supervising everything that is happening here at the School of Design. Uh, Gary Hanrahan is an academic operations manager at the School of Design. Uh, myself, uh, is uh, I am Bahar Musavi Hejazi, and I just want to give you a bit of uh, background about myself. So I have a bachelor's and master's degree in industrial design and a PhD of art study. Uh, before moving to Canada in 2005, uh, I was uh, already teaching uh, at university level, both bachelor and master's degree in industrial design in Iran, uh, which was the, my country of origin. Then I moved to Montreal because my second language was French. Uh, so I did also an interior design, a uh, very intensive uh, interior design program in Montreal in French. And then I decided to move to Toronto where I uh, took a pro, uh, the uh, college teacher training program here uh, at George Brown College. And from uh, this, I was able to start working here at the School of Design. Uh, so uh, I've been the uh, program coordinator si uh, si uh, since 2016, teaching since 2008. Um, uh, and also I have experience teaching at OCAD University from 2009 uh, to 2018, but now I'm solely here uh, at the School of Design teaching a uh, few courses here in the Art and Design Foundation program, uh, as well as um, research in uh, the Design Management program, which is a postgrad here uh, at the School of Design. Um, and, uh, you know, we have also very, very uh, hardworking and friendly people helping me uh, in the program. Uh, so one of those people is Pavel. He's the student service coordinator at the School of Design. So basically, whatever is related to administration, uh, like OSAP, registration, uh, student life, everything is uh, going through Pavel. He's the liaison between our school and, um, you know, George Brown College as a whole. Uh, I am mostly um, responsible um, 
of the curriculum, you know, planning of the courses, whatever is course and curriculum related is my job, working with my colleagues to make sure that we improve uh, the quality of our program based on our students' work, student feedback, and overall always researching to be better and improving ourselves. And Joseph also helping us with whatever students need in terms of like issues with their Adobe, because you have to know the Adobe suite is part of your tuition fees. So when you become a full time student here at the School of Design, you are going to uh, have free access to Adobe suite as well as all the Microsoft uh, 365, it's very important for you to know that you have all these available to you as a student here at the School of Design. And these are our faculty uh, who are teaching here uh, for many, many years. Uh, Michelle is teaching photography, Doug is teaching art culture, Tracy is teaching um, 3D materials and techniques, uh, Jennifer is teaching color, Jim is teaching all whatever is digital, so introduction to digital media and multimedia storytelling. Joe is teaching um, advanced digital media and portfolio from time to time. Derek is teaching um, art uh, culture as well as painting and mixed media and he's himself artist. So many of our people, have, uh, they have been working in the industry. They are still working in art or in the industry. So they have this industry background as well. Then we have Helen. Uh, teaching like a variety of courses throughout years, like art culture, portfolio. Uh, Nori is solely teaching drawing. So she has been with us like for more than 20 years uh, myself. Uh, and then I'm teaching uh, mostly foundation. So foundation design one, uh, foundation design two, design process and art and design portfolio showcase. Shiraz also uh, has the kind of the same credential like me. Uh, I am the industrial designer here. She's the graphic designer. So we are teaching almost the same courses complementing each other. Danny Russell is teaching photography for many years and Lisa has joined us uh, lately uh, to teach the 2D digital painting with the game art and she's also a game uh, artist and she's um, active in the industry as well. Uh, so, and I would love also to share if you have time, Cindy, to share the portfolio, one of the portfolio, my students' uh, portfolio. Let's answer the one question that I see right now in the Q&A and the question is, um, in this program, the focus is on projects rather than exams. If classes are mostly online during the fall, how does online learning affect that? Thank you so much, Cindy, and thank you for your question. Uh, so it's very important for us to know that um, our program is studio-based, is project-based. Uh, so beside the English, which is outside of the School of Design, because uh, uh, we have a department of uh, communication and English, uh, which, which is catering, you know, to the whole George Brown College, and they have exams. Uh, but our courses in the Art and Foundation uh, program they are all project based. We have no exam. But yes, we have lots of writings because students need to be able to communicate. For example, uh, research reports, um, rational writing, and we help our students to learn how to uh, communicate in writing. It's very, very important as part of how to communicate. And in terms of online, uh, so George Brown College is uh, following all the health uh, guidelines, the uh, provincial ones. Uh, so we are, uh, I, I believe that the college is still working on uh, making those decisions that we'll, uh, you know, we'll know soon. Uh, but we have been teaching online since last March myself. 
um, you know, I was always like teaching for more than 20 years in a physical environment, but we uh, very quickly uh, switched, you know, the way we were teaching, uh, we uh, kind of customized our teaching, our courses, our projects to the online uh, environment, you know, I taught uh, myself and some of my colleagues throughout last uh, summer and all the fall and the winter and uh, actually uh, this week is our last week and one of the students uh, told me that uh, I was so hesitant to take the online uh, courses and this program online but I'm so happy that I did you know so it was so um, kind of heartwarming to know that our students really enjoyed the online so the online we have the blackboard collaborate ultra we have lots of like uh, group forks you know we meet with our students we talk to them and I always feel this creative energy uh, when I'm in the classroom still and it's kind of very, uh, very amazing to me as well so we have been able to um, adapt ourselves to this new situation and our students have produced wonderful artworks but we have to know that this is an intensive program online or in the physical environment we need our students to really uh, be dedicated and committed to this program if you are working part-time this may be okay but we cannot really study while working full-time we have also the option to uh, be a students in a full-time cap as a full-time capacity uh, just doing four courses in each semester so basically dividing the 12 courses into three semesters you know doing four in the fall four in the winter four in the spring summer so um, I always uh, um, encourage my students in the beginning of the semester in the fall if they feel uh, that uh, it's like too much work for them they have the choice to um, even later on you know throughout the semester they are they have the choice to switch to these four instead of six courses so Abby um, when she came to our program she was already a nurse uh, at the hospital, you know, in the ER, <laughs> the emergency room. And she really loved to be active in design and art. And until the very last weeks of the second semester, she was not really sure uh, about what she wants to do, you know, after this program. And uh, this is so interesting because, um, Throughout this, um, myself and herself and her peers, we saw how agile she is. Uh, she's meeting the, the deadline. She's so good at both sketching and drawing and digital. So uh, in the second semester, when the program coordinator of uh, uh, game art came here, uh, I invited him to talk about game art. Suddenly it clicked. I said, oh my God, you know, Abby, I think that you're the perfect candidate for the game art program here at the School of Design and this is what she's doing right now here um, you know at the School of Design and this is her portfolio so I just want to show you um, her wonderful work for example self-branding like logo design I hope that you can see that um, so it's so interesting you know uh, she developed her logo uh, she had different ideas and finally she came up with this uh, logo and then um um, this is her, we have a poster design in the second semester, so she did this uh, for her poster design. And also a city cover project that goes with that, then our students are creating design journals. Um, so this is her design journal, sketching, you know, so important, drawing in game art, you know, um, my colleague in the game arts program, they really want to see, um, you know, they, uh, like how our students uh, are drawing and how they're good, you know, at presentation. And then um, some like typography or, digital design. Uh, color VLAN composition. 
we learn how to come up with our own ideas, you know, abstraction, storytelling. For example, in Foundation Design One, our students are taking picture in photography from the city and they bring it um, to the Foundation Design One and they start to, they look at this picture to come up with new stories, you know, uh, in black and white as well as in color. Uh, this year, because of the pandemic, uh, we gave them the option to go to their neighborhood taking pictures or even choosing some of the pictures from their travels. So having fun really uh, with, um, you know, whatever they can find, you know, in, in like the proximity. So these are dingbat designs. And self-portrait. Her self-portrait is really amazing. Um, so this is, these are her sketches, her, her studies of herself, drawing, studying, sketching, and this is Abby's final work because in the self-portrait here, students um, explore their inner self and they bring that to their self-portrait from their experience, their background, you know. And life drawing. We still do life drawing online <laughs> and we still do painting and mixed media. So our teachers, they have like their videos, they have created nice workstation when they are demonstrating how to do that. We have life models, you know, joining us. So we are doing all of these um, activities, you know, online as well. And finally, I would like to show you um, a, a video she created in the multimedia storytelling. Jeez, I swear, if something else goes wrong... Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't see you there. Welcome aboard our airship. My name is Abigail, and I have ideas. A lot of good ones, I think. But sometimes, not so good ones, like boarding this airship. You see, this contraption was built with some lackluster design. Fortunately, I needed an opportunity to bring my ideas to life. And as I always say, design without production is meaningless, but production without design is fatal. So I'm here to make sure everything is working and to fix those annoying mistakes that may have been overlooked. A bit of quality assurance, if you may. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm on my way. And there's something to go fix now. Never a moment's rest, I tell you. But you know, despite my complaints, I really do love making sure my designs can help save time by being easy to understand. It makes it better for all people, I think. Anyway, I'm sorry. I've got to run. Enjoy your stay and be sure to find that emergency chute as soon as you can, all right? What? Design should come before production. I can only do so much. All right, bye now. Yes, so it was uh, her work. Thank you so Beautiful. much. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Bahar. If we don't have any other questions, Oh, I just see a question here from Kareem, wondering if this is accessible at another time. Is it recorded? Yes, the session is recorded. You will be receiving an email um, with the recordings in the coming days. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I think there is a question on the chat box. 
Uh, what's your hiring percentage, would you say, for people who leave this course and the salary? Uh, so this course is mostly, thank you for your question. It, this course is mostly for people to move to another program, uh, for example, graphic design, game art. So we don't have a big percentage of our students moving to a job. Uh, although some of our students, um, you know, continue you know, to work as a salesperson, for example, or entry like uh, at art stores or makeup artists you know uh, the students who already have uh, like bachelors or masters for example in architecture uh, now they are working in their own field because we help them to produce their portfolio with additional digital skills so they are working in architecture or uh, firm or like other like, like graphic design firms if they already had like previous experience so there is not a fixed kind of percentage or um, you know salary uh, specific for the art and design foundation program graduates you know they have to move either to an to an education so it's a preparatory course or uh move to entry you know entry works that are very varied for example we have taught to artists they move to and then all the salaries in this specific fields are uh, like separate and very different you're very welcome Thank you so much, everyone. I'm so looking forward to see many of you as our students.